आगे बढ़ेंगे इसराइल में चल रहे संघर्ष ने जाने कितनी जिंदगियों पर गहरा असर छोड़ा है लोगों के परिवार उनसे बिछड़ गए लोग अपनों से दूर हो गए टाइम्स नेटवर्क इसराइल पहुंचा हुआ है और वहां के लोगों की आपबीती को कैमरे में कैद कर रहा है एक पीड़िता अविवा भी इसी संघर्ष की शिकार हुई है अविवा ऐसी ही एक पीड़िता है जो एक आई सैनिक की बड़ी बहन है पिछले साल सात अक्टूबर को अविवा के भाई को हमास के आतंकवादियों ने निशाना बनाया था देखिए हमारे सहयोगी की ग्राउंड जीरो से रिपोर्ट What is that spirit that keeps you going? Because just few months back he was in intensive care unit, and now he is there on the border defending his country. Well, uh, my brother, like many others here in Israel, uh, has the the obligation. Well, feels he has the obligation to defend his country, and if he doesn't, nobody else will. So that's the spirit that keeps him going. That if we don't fight, we will be uh, defeated. How he was injured last time? He was shot by the Hamas terrorists who came into the kibbutz on the border with Gaza, and he was injured pretty badly. And he was um, in uh, intensive care for for a long time, and then he went for rehabilitation, and eventually he went back home and he started re rehabilit uh, rebuilding his life back, uh, mentally, physically. And now he's back in the, with his unit in uh, on the border with uh, Lebanon up north. So, are you worried about because last time it was a close shave with death almost because he was in intensive care unit for uh, so long. So, um, how do you see when again he is standing like a rock there on the border, defending country? Uh, obviously, I'm worried. I'm worried for all of the soldiers and reserve. But uh, personally, I'm worried because he's my young brother. Um, I know he takes care of himself and he has his family, his personal like family, four children to, to, to worry about. Um, there is uh, no other choice. Uh, I send him a message every day, a couple of times a day, to see, are you okay? Just to know you're okay, and that's it. And uh, we keep going. This is our life here. Again, the traffic has come to screeching halt, and everybody is trying to take position. As you said, and see, all of a sudden there is a siren sound. Here you can see, uh, traffic has come to screeching halt, and everybody is lying here on the ground. So this is normally a familiar sound, but a frightening one too here in Israel. Whenever there is such a siren sound, there's a lot of tension in the atmosphere, and you can you can see everybody is here trying to hide, and everybody is trying to take position. There's a lot of tension in the atmosphere. For the last three, four days, regularly we have seen that the rockets are being fired from the Hezbollah side. Yesterday there was a drone attack in which four Israeli soldiers lost their lives and 60 others were injured. So attacks from the Hezbollah side have already increased. See all the traffic, every car, every vehicle has stopped here, here in the city, and. See, you can see the frightening people are quite scared, and that is actually because the best option is whenever there is such thing happening. The best thing is to lie on the ground because that is the only way you can save yourself. Because here the bomb shelter is not nearby, so you can see uh, right now the <coughs> frightening sound, frightening sound of this, this. See, everybody, everybody here is trying to take shelter. They are trying to hide, and. Traffic has stopped. All the cries, cars, and everything has come to the dining hall. The situation right now here continues to remain tense. And here you can see everybody taking shelter here. So this is the situation right now here in Israel. For the last few days, we have seen that there has been more than 300 rocket attacks from the terrorist Hezbollah side. They had been trying to inflict maximum casualty. They had been trying to target civilian population. Also, there was a drone attack yesterday. Two drones were launched from across. One of the drones was intercepted on the sea by uh, Israeli navy, but the other drone was able to target military base in which four Israeli soldiers lost their lives and. 60 others were injured. Seven of them critically. 